Now, a lot of you probably know me from my DV tutorials. I've been doing this for, I would say, over eight years. And some of you probably have purchased DV because of my tutorials, my recommendations. And I know that's true because I am part of the Elegant Themes affiliate. So a lot of you, hundreds of you have actually purchased DV because of me. And that's really cool. I appreciate that. Now, oftentimes I get companies reach out to me because they want me to review their plugins or review their templates or themes and so on. And I do that. And through that, I've learned a lot. And this has really expanded my knowledge in the web design field. And I've actually adopted some of these tools in my own workflow. And some of these actually run my own online business. For example, I have SiteCrafter. I also have uh, Divi University. All these platforms are running Fluent CRM, Fluent Forms, Shortcut, and all these, all these um, products that I've reviewed and I've seen that they are fantastic and I also end up using them. And some of these I also recommend for you to use because I find them to be really, really good. Recently, I came across Etch. I don't know if you've heard of Etch. This is an upcoming page builder. It is, how do I describe it? It's very difficult to, refer, uh, to describe it because it's totally different to how I'm used to designing websites for many, many years. So for me, I have a background in graphic design. So I'm more of a designer and not a developer. So every time I see code, I get scared. That is why I run away. The moment I hear classes, variables, and CSS, I just run. I don't want to hear it because I like drag and drop. And drag and drop has been the key for the success of Divi and also for the success of Elementor. You just, you know, drag a button, you drop it in, customize it, you know, style it, and pretty much you can have a website up and running really, really fast. But because I create tutorials a lot and a lot of people um, want to learn even deeper in this, or about this web design field, I feel like I'm very limited because... I do not know HTML and CSS properly. So when I came across Edge, its approach to web design is totally different. In fact, you know what? Let me share this with you because Edge is not really out there because they have uh, opened up the cart, they've sold a little bit, then they closed the cart. This is a product that's being built from the ground up, from the ground up, from scratch, but it has a team which is which has an understanding of building advanced uh, websites and also these this team are full of developers so they're designing this with uh with an idea of having a page builder which is lightweight super fast but also that follows the standards of advanced web design from a developer's point of view whereas with divi it's a designer's point of view so let me just give you a snip peek into what Edge looks like because I have access to it. I actually purchased uh, Edge as soon as it came out and I just left it there. So just recently I thought, you know what, let me just try and start playing around with it and see what it's about. So this is what it looks like. And I know straight away you're going to be shocked because there's really nothing going on here, especially if you're someone that uses Divi. I mean, let's just look at this. It's just blank but it starts coming to life if you know what you're doing. So for example, we're going to come over here and add a section. Do you see that? Now that's a section. And let's say in that section, we want to add, say, a container. Okay, now the container is in. But notice something very interesting now. Over here, we have the HTML, right? And let's say I want to add a bit of text and a paragraph text. Now, do you see that things now are starting to take shape? So this text here, which says insert your heading here, let's just replace this with some gibberish. Do you see that it updates on the top there? Now, let's say you want to style this. How do you do that? Well, with that selected, you have to come over here and then create a class for it. So I'm going to say maybe dot bg right so that's going to be the background if i hit enter notice what happens now 
it all comes to life. Now we start to have all these other things that I can go in and start customizing. So let's say, for example, I want to add a bit of padding. I can go in there and say for rem. Did you see that? Now the for rem has been added. But here's something very interesting. Over here we have the CSS. So if I know my CSS, I can now start adding my CSS in here. Let me see if I can remember just a something CSS um, off head. So let's say margin top, because that's a CSS. Now, do you see how it's also giving me a hint? So I'm gonna say margin, okay, that's the one I need, margin top, enter. Okay, margin left, that's fine. We're gonna say 200 PX. Do you see that? That's my margin editor there. But I wouldn't have known this if I did not know that margin left is um, CSS, it's CSS language. I wouldn't have known that. But for me now, I'm looking at this, I can diagnose this, I can say, okay, maybe I can try 100, but now I know the code. So every time I'm going to be, say, working in DV, I can now say, okay, this is how the brackets open, the padding is like that, margins, I can add more items in here. But you know what's even more interesting? If I can now come over here to the style manager, do you see now we have this BG? And it's right here. So I can have all my CSS here. And I can also have my variables here. But I know it's going to be very confusing the way I'm describing it right now. And yeah, it can be very confusing because this is something that is totally new in the world of web design or in the world of WordPress. And I think this approach of designing websites is super, super exciting. So here's the main question now, and I'm sure you've been waiting for this. The question now is, am I going to abandon DV because I've discovered Edge? The answer to that is no, absolutely not. Of course not. Because, for example, the main reason is, in fact, it's not, an, it's not an example. The main reason why I can't abandon DV is because I have a lot of products, a lot of lifetime members that are a part of DV University that have paid a lot of money, a lot of money to be a part of this. So I can't just abandon DV uh, right away like that. But what I will do is, with time, I'm going to create a brand new channel. It's going to be called Mac WP, M A K W P. This channel is purely going to be me going deeper into advanced web development. I need to understand how the root of web design works. I'm talking about CSS, I'm talking about JavaScript, I'm talking about pretty much everything that makes up web design. So, this I'm definitely convinced that it's going to help me understand code. In fact, by doing this, it will teach me how things work and how things are actually put together when it comes to web design. And this is why I'm creating a brand new channel called Mac WP. So I'll be having all my tutorials there. It's for advanced, um, advanced users. It's not going to be your typical, you know, uh, DV type of thing. It's going to be purely advanced because that is where the future is going. And for me, as someone who teaches web design, I definitely need that for me to be able to understand Divi and also make quality tutorials. So that's the main reason. So if you're interested in learning advanced web design skills, then head over to my new, uh, my new channel. I'll link it in the video description below. I'll be making some tutorials over there. And I'll also be getting help from, uh, from, from others in terms of the right approach to web development. I really want to go into web development so I can understand how all, how all this comes together. And Edge is going to be the way forward. I've been playing around with it for a couple of days now, and I'm really super convinced that this is the way that can help me teach web design skills properly from a position of understanding the code and how it works. Now, over here, you can see 
HTML, we also have the CSS, there's also JavaScript as well, and it supports it. In fact, if I come over here, there is a tab for JavaScript. There you go. So if I need to add some JavaScript to this, I'll be adding the code in here. And also remember there's AI. So I'll be using AI, adding it into here, finding the code from AI, plugging into, into this, seeing how things are working. And I'm pretty confident that in a couple of months, I will be proficient in proper web development. And that's where I want to be. So I'll be bouncing between Mac WP and SiteCrafter. But don't think that all my effort now is pretty much going to uh, the new channel. Of course, I'll be doing a lot of tutorials. There's so much that's coming through from, um, from uh, Elegant Themes. It's still in alpha. And for those of you who are wondering where is Edge, where can we download it? I mean, it's still in alpha as well. So it's not something that is uh, out there in the wild. I mean, it's still in alpha. It's not in beta yet, but they're developing it super, super, super fast. In fact, uh, I spoke to the founder a few days ago and I mean, it is really, really exciting and it's full of positive vibes. Anyway, the link to that is in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. Check it out. I also want to hear your thoughts about what I've discussed in this video. What do you think about advanced web design skills or, or web development? What's your take on that? Let me know in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.